Let me tell you why I bought another Acura TL Type S. So what's up you guys, welcome back to another video. I know it has been a long time coming, but life happens, everyone's busy and stuff like that. But today's gonna be a good day, I'm gonna be getting a new car. I'm actually gonna be getting another Acura TL Type S. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm with my brother right here. Buy AMC. Buy AMC. Not financial advice. But yeah, <clears throat> he's dropping me off at the airport right now and my flight's in like 40 minutes, so let's go. Appreciate the ride, brother. Peace. See ya. Love you, bitch. Love you. If y'all didn't know, this is what my brother has now. See you later, brother. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're at Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, I'm just waiting for Zach to come pretty much pull up and pick me up so we can look at the car. Alright guys, I'm waiting inside because it is hot here in Louisiana, but I am excited to see the car. Um, it's not perfect, it does have some imperfections, but it's definitely worth it for what I'm getting it for. And it's tastefully modded, so it's still I still have room to do a lot of things to it, but save money at the same time. So that's the biggest reason why I got this car. Um, but yeah, guess I'll just wait until he comes. All right, you guys. So I'm at Quit Trip, and here's the better walk around of the car. So it's pretty in pretty good condition. There is some flaws to it. There is a little scrape right here, but that's fine. I'm gonna get an A-spec kit to cover that. On the fender, the clear coat is coming off. And same with, with the driver's side door, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. I'm not worried about that. But besides that, everything is pretty, pretty clean. So I officially own the TLS now. Um, I'm so happy that I have this car. It's kind of a nostalgic feeling for me. Um, I got eight hours to drive back, but the engine sounds perfect. Um, there's a little bit of cosmetic damage around the car, but nothing major. Um, I, I, I could definitely uh, get that fixed, so I'm not worried about that. Um, another thing was um, the steering wheel is ripping, um, but no problem there because I'm actually ordering a new steering wheel um, for this car, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty excited about it. So I just got back home and I am exhausted. So it looks like all the guys are kind of busy right now, so I'm gonna just continue this vlog tomorrow, okay? All right, you guys, it's the next day, so I'm gonna go out and give you guys a official review of the car, and then I'm gonna actually go get the car registered right now, but yeah. So let's go ahead and go outside. So here's the car. I just got a home yesterday. It has 160,000 miles on it. It's not bad for how old it is. Before buying this car, um, you gotta make sure that all the maintenance has been done for the car. As you can see, I did get new brakes and the rotors are actually drilled and slotted. I tested the braking on this car and it's actually pretty crazy nice. No shaking and it like stops immediately the owner took care of this car he did oil changes every three three thousand miles which is pretty frequent he also has some skunk two upper control arms he changed the lower ball joints he also got um, the spc rear camber arms and the toe arms for it this car is on bc racing coilovers the previous owner actually put swift springs on there so um, it's actually 14k uh, in the front and 12k in the rear one of the best features of this car is that it has diamond uh, stitch seats. Um, these are actually seat covers from Endless RPM, so I know they have them in different colors as well. Just go to Endless RPM and they'll get you taken care of. So let me tell you about the exhaust. Um, so on my previous car, I had a WRX. That shit was loud and I kind of got tired of it. Um, that's just me personally. I wanted something that was more tamed and more subtle um, and this is what this car is 
pretty much with the exhaust setup you still got your your pre-cats still stock j pipe um, you do have a dynamax resonator which is the reason why this car sounds so amazing and then the third muffler got deleted and then the rear mufflers got deleted too so let me show you the cold start on this car it, it's i love it that's all i gotta say <laughs> car has no engine lights, no nothing. All the buttons still function, AC blows. Um, but yeah, and you can see that he did the hydro dipped accents right here as well. So let me tell you why I bought another Acura TL Type S. So when I sold my WRX, I was looking for a daily car. So I was actually in, in the market for a 2015 Honda Accord Coupe. Uh, in a v6 um, i didn't want to i didn't want a six speed i wanted a automatic i just couldn't find a good deal uh in the surrounding states near me so i was like hmm if i'm gonna look out of state i might as well get a car i really want i said fuck it i'm gonna get another tls so i got this car from texarkana texas it borders louisiana arkansas and texas eight hours from here um but the reason why I got it is because um, I just love the build quality of this car. I've always been a luxury guy. Um, I always cared about aesthetics more than power and uh, how fast you can go. I, I believe that if, if you sound good and you look good, that's all that you need. I mean, yeah, it's nice to be fast, but do I really need it? Not really. If it's fast enough, that's great. That, that's all that I need. So this car is fast enough, so that's all that matters. But I was actually in the market for a six speed in, in the Type S, a TL Type S. The reason why I, I said that is because these cars are going up in value for the manuals. And the only manual that I would make an exception for is if it was a TL Type S. The reason why is, like I said, the price of these cars in a manual are going up so it, it would have been nice to have one but for my budget and for what i wanted out of the car it just wasn't in the books for me so i was looking on facebook market and this car came up and i was like i gotta have it so this car's engine is phenomenal it runs great it sounds nice um this car is very reliable as long as you take care of it with most cars that's how it is um, you just got to keep up to maintenance with it like every hundred thousand miles the timing belt water pump and the belt tension uh, tensioner needs to be changed um he changed that at 100 something k miles but I, I gotta look back at it but it's still running strong no issues um, but if anyone is out there selling a full a spec kit in nighthawk black pearl please hit me up those are so hard to come by nowadays because they're discontinued that's honestly the top of my priority list right now um once i get that um it'll get the ball rolling for everything else um because i want i want to get like uh splitters i want i want to get um the rear spats and all that stuff too the great thing about this tl or tls in general is the build quality you don't hear the wind when you're driving it's very quiet that's like a big thing for me i'm really big on luxury so maybe you might see a vip build on this i don't know who knows uh, I'm just going with the flow right now. I'm just enjoying the car as it is. So uh, if you guys have any ideas on what I should do to the car, just comment down below. I might take it into consideration. Just let me know, guys. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go register the car now. All right, you guys. So uh, the tag office has like a three-hour wait. So I'm going to go over to Taddy's house real quick, just chill a little bit. Um, you guys get to see his car and everything, too, and his reaction to my car. So let's get it. What's up, bro? Hello, bro. Okay. How you been? With the lemonade tag. Good yeah, no. Chill. That's fucking nice. Is this uh, hydro dipped? It's hydro dipped. That's sick. Yeah, I know. Everywhere's hydro dipped. That's hella bro. Bro, sit in it. What's all done? Listen. Uh, what's it called? No, you driving it, bro. Huh? You driving it. <laughs> The only thing done to it is a Dynamax resonator and I deleted the third muffler and the rear mufflers. 
or that's what the previous owner did. So is it loud? It's nice. It's a nice tone. It's I say it's similar to Justin's. Oh, it is. That's nice. It's not too freaking raspy. Yeah, it's not raspy at all. Bro, this feels nice. Now stomp it. <laughs> so it's like, it's not bad. It's, really it's not bad. annoying. It's not like it's I'm gonna like, annoy my neighbors type thing. Yeah, yeah, like fucking Brian's car. Yeah, Brian's car is stupid loud. Back to your roots. Yup, back to the basics, baby. Yeah. It's on Swift Springs. It already has upper control arms for the fronts and then uh, lower control lower control arms in the back with tow arms in the back too. Damn, so you got the set already then. Yeah. We just gotta get wheels. Yep. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> but but maybe I don't know. It's a must, bro. This is nice. I'll especially like this fucking hydro dip. Yeah, the hydro dip. Bro, it's so toned. I like it. Yeah, it has a nice tone to it. It's not crazy loud, but loud enough. Yeah. It's a perfect daily. Yeah. The drone is not bad until you hit about 85, 80, 85. Yeah, that's where it usually starts. Oh god. You're gonna have fun in this car again. Uh huh. Here's his car, boys. God damn. God damn. What the? It was a pain in the Damn, damn, literally everything. Holy. This is why I can't drive this every day. Yeah, bro, you need another, you need a new daily. <laughs> oh yeah, I there. forgot you got that right there. That mug right there. That's my daily and my toe pig. Damn, this shit is wet, boys. Jesus. But yeah, guys, um, I'll be making a review on this car with more in-depth stuff, everything you need to know about it. Well, if Taddy wants to let you know about it. <laughs> I'm just fine. Gonna have to wait. <laughs> I will be the only one in Kansas that's gonna have this from what they told me. For real? Yeah, the only one. Damn, yeah. okay, okay. All right, bro. Thank you, sir, thank you, sir. I will see you later, all right? Yes, sir. All right, guys, so Justin's here, so let's go ahead and open up the garage so you can see the car. The man himself, look at him. Who, the man himself, me? Yes, sir. No, yeah. this car right here, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. Been a while since we've seen this car. I know. <laughs> She's the same old, same old, nothing new about her. But yes, sir. Come look at that car. What's boy. up, y'all? All right, let's see this piece of shit. Shut up. It black? Is a piece I approve. I like the black. I always wanted a black car, but it's hard to maintain. It is hard to maintain. That's why I might wrap it. Mmm. Now that one's a little piece of shit. But yeah, that, right that's here. a piece of shit right there. Okay, back to the old days. Yes, sir. Back to the old days, huh? Yes, sir. But damn, no, that white one was better though. You, you can't think that white one was better. I think the white one is better. Why? Just because white, in my opinion, always look better than a black car. Yeah. I always like white, but this is nice. I like it. It got it got the red calipers, upgraded brakes, slotted rotors. Interesting. Drove slotted. I like. I dig it. You gonna finish what you started? Yeah, exactly. You gonna finish what he started? Y'all never uh, got to see me like work on the white TL because it got total. But yeah. Watch it be the. Oh hell no! <laughs> I mean, not that bitch. Oh, there you go. Over there, boy. I the actually know that guy. Uh, he, he's in the Subaru community here. But dude, there's an R35 that actually drives here, a white one, all the time. Like he lives here. It's probably mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So this is the best thing about <laughs> Acura's right here. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> so all all the windows come down when you hold the unlock button. Yeah. Look at that. What do you think? It's a nice pick. It's a good pickup. Yeah. It's a really good pickup. It got it got cosmetic damage, but it's fixable. Very fixable. I always have to test how good the door closes. Shit. 
Nope. I disapprove now. <laughs> Why? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll it's let you nice start though. the car. I like it. Yeah, bro. It's nice. Ooh. Start her up. Start her up, buddy. Boo, how do I do this? Is it push and start? Nope. I kidding. wish it was push and start. I'm just kidding. Mine's not even push and start. Whoa. It's not stock at all. What's done to it? He kept the pre-cats. Um, stock J pipe, okay. uh, Dynamax resonator, and then he deleted the the third muffler and the uh, rear mufflers. So it's a pretty pretty good budget exhaust. Yeah. And remember my TL? It was raspy. Yeah, I remember that. But now rev it just a little bit. It's a deep tone. Yeah. It sounds like he did whoever did it did like a good job on it. Yeah. What are these? Yeah, these are seat covers. Oh. Yeah. Damn, I was like, this is some quality ass seat covers. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck? How much mileage does it have? Huh? How much uh, mileage? 160. Damn, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> I it's a lot that. for a car in general, but it's not a lot for this car. That's a lot just to me in general. Because this car. Should be at one, I would say 180 to 190. That's just high in general still for me at least. But for you, it's not a big deal. But for me, it's a big deal. It's because he's done everything yeah. to the car to keep it reliable. So it's kind of be it's reliable nice, for dude. a while. Yeah. I dig it. It's nice. And it's a good pickup. But I still would say your white one is better. In my, my white one, opinion, in my opinion, I, I don't know. Uh, my my white one didn't have black interior, so I couldn't. It was a little different for me. Let's go for a drive. I'll, I'll back it out and we'll Yo, go for sir, a drive. I this shit out. Your driveway, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hello. I know it's been a minute since you guys see my face. I know we've just been busy. I've been busy, but I'm back. We're gonna be back and better. Anthony finally got his new bay. What do you guys think about that? Was it a good idea for him to sell the Subi and get this Type S or keep the Subi? and do things to it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Should he kept the Subi? Or was it a bad idea for him to sell it? Let me know. But damn, it's nice. This dude's driveway is insane. But it's super long, so he's chilling. That's so sketch. Oh, that three wheel. Woo. Ah. <laughs> you held a third three wheel on that one. I'm still getting used to how low this was. No, I, yeah, that's pretty low, dude. Well, well, my my white one was only on springs. Yeah. So it wasn't as low as this. Well, this is literally yeah, no it's gap. It's a longer car. Yeah, it's literally no gap. Yeah. I'll let you drive this thing, boy. Okay. Feel the real power of VTEC. B10. <laughs> I'm just like, dude. It's the funny thing. Like, I would say, probably when I first got my driver's license, mm -hmm. I like, I really wanted a, a TL. Yeah. Like a Type S. I really wanted one, but then I was like, hmm, should I get? There's like so many options at the time. Like, it's the first car. Yeah. You have so many options of like, what you can pick from what and stuff. Dig it, dude. How's it feel to have it back, though? Honestly, to you, I guess back again. I like this more than my white one, just with with how with all done to it. Yeah. Stuff. There's just a couple of minor things that need to be done. That's yeah, it. exactly. But that's like any like I feel like in general with any car with over 150k miles, it's gonna need some work done at least to it. Yeah, for sure. Like no doubt. Like you can't be perfect. Yeah. Brakes are smooth, huh? Yeah, I had, to, <laughs> I had to get up there a little bit and test the brakes a little bit. Uh, I gave you a little heart attack, but that's a big deal. Nah, I love that. You love it. Yeah. yeah no, the brakes are hella good. Like, really good. 
Yeah. I needed that on the WRX, yeah, to be honest. You did, you did. Yeah. But yeah, guys. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's like, I think it's the perfect yeah. daily exhaust. No, it is. It's not too loud. It's not too quiet. It's like the perfect noise that you need. Yeah, I don't think it'll piss off the cops either. No, definitely not. Definitely not. But you can make it loud if you want. Nah, nah, I'm good. If you wanted to. Maybe pre-cat deletes in the future, <laughs> J5. I don't know. Who knows? But I like this tone. I like this tone. I no, think yeah. I'll keep this for a very long time. Yeah, I definitely would. Just for a daily, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, man, you look like you're driving this car in the future. You said what? It's like when you had your white teal. Yeah. And you know, it's in the future, and what bam, you're back where you left off. Oh my God. It's like you never had the Subi. Never, bro. Cause fuck that car. That shit gave me hell. <laughs> my, I had hell or nothing but like blood and shit on my fingers. <laughs> I'm glad you saw that shit. <laughs> me too, bro. This is a perfect day, man. It really is. So this is the end of the video. Um, like I said, if you guys have any ideas on what to do to the car, let me know. Uh, I might consider it. Who knows? You know what's gonna happen? Yes, sir. You can never keep Fuck. a car stock. <laughs> you can never, ever. It's impossible. If you're a car guy, you know. I'm excited for this build. Um, this build is gonna be for my dad. Um, but it started. Yep, this is what started it all. Um, but if you guys like the car, leave a like. Comment down below what you guys would like to see me do to this car. Yes, I got plans. We're back. We're back. And better. I know you guys missed us, but we're back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. It does help us out. Um, I guess that's it. That's it. All right. Peace out, guys. We'll see you later. Peace. I'm a